Where the next one is? Uh, this is video number 48. And in this video, we will see the line spectra of hydrogen atom. In this topic, uh, we will discuss about uh, uh, two theories. Each theory can be asked as a two-mass question. Let us see one of the first theory. Uh, the question will be like this. What will be the question? Obtain read it works formula for which atom? Hydrogen atom. And by using this read works formula, we will go on line spectra of hydrogen atom. But individually, this question can be asked as a two mark. Okay? From where we have to start and what we have to write, let us see. You have to start from the Bohr's third hypothesis. Okay? So, what was the Bohr's hypothesis? From Bohr's third hypothesis. Okay? What was their hypothesis? In last video also we have seen when electron transit from high energy level to low energy level, it emits the radiation. And the energy of that radiation is in terms of photon. And that energy is equivalent to the energy difference between that two levels. Suppose we have EI. What is EI? EI is higher energy level and EF is lower energy level. Electrons are transit from high energy level to low energy level. At that time, it emits the radiation in the form of photon. The word photon is there in chapter number 11. We will see it in afterwards. Okay? So, according to that Bohr's third hypothesis, the energy emitted, which is equivalent to energy difference between that two levels and it is nothing but HF. What is F? F is the frequency of emitting the radiation and what is H? H is nothing but Planck's constant. Okay, so here F frequency of light coming when electron transit from I higher level to lower level that is F. Got it? Give it equation number 1. You have to write the analysis also where F I F is the thing but frequency of emitting radiation while electron transit from high energy level to low energy level and H is the thing but Planck's constant. Okay, now we have to put, what to put, or you can say that from the equation of energy. What was the equation of energy? En is equal to m, e raised to 4 upon 8, what was that? 8 epsilon 0 square h square multiply by 1 upon n square these are the constant values and that constant values are having that value which one? minus 13.6 electron volt 
In last video also, we have seen the same thing. Got it? So, by using this equation here, we will get, what we will get? EI minus EF. Put the value of, uh, instead of N, there is I. So here, you have to write NI only. Means, let us say, equation number 1 become EI. Same equation you have to write, that is EI minus EF is equal to HF IF. EI, from this, it is Here, constant term m e raised to 4 upon, upon 8 epsilon 0 square h square. If you have seen that video as well as you have done your homework regularly, then you have to strike that this energy is negative. Got it? So, this term is negative. What remain? Multiply by 1 upon n i square minus again minus. So, it is plus same equation m a raised to 4 upon 8 epsilon 0 square h square multiplied by 1 upon n f square. Got it? Take out common, whatever it is there, take positive term first and negative term afterwards. So, we are getting that is m e raised to 4 common upon 8 epsilon 0 square h square. Then, in bracket, 1 upon nf square minus 1 upon ni square. Okay? What is this? It is hf. f means frequency and frequency having one more uh, symbol h nu. So, here we took both the symbols. So, to avoid the confusion. Now, what is F? F is nothing but C by lambda. The frequency F or nu is nothing but C by lambda. Again, this equation we will see in chapter number 11. Let us say, but what? Nu, that is the frequency is nothing but C by lambda. So, you will get H C upon lambda. What is lambda? Lambda is the wavelength of emitting radiation. Okay? So, lambda. Why it is emitting? Because the electron transit from I higher to F lower is equal to M e raised to 4 as it is 8 epsilon 0 square h square as it is 1 upon n f square minus 1 upon n i square <coughs> make a subject 1 upon lambda that is 1 upon lambda i f is equal to take h c here so we are getting m e raised to 4 upon 8 epsilon 0 square h h that is h cube c in bracket 1 upon n f square minus 1 upon n i square see here m mass of electron constant e constant all these things are constant and that constant you have to take r that is 1 upon lambda i f is nothing but r 1 upon n f square minus 1 upon n i square so this formula 
is known as Rydberg's formula for which atom? Hydrogen atom. Okay? So, it is very easy and nice thing that is obtained reverse formula there are few steps which is remaining still okay but before that how to obtain that reverse formula it is very easy uh, you have to take the more hypothesis then more hypothesis you have to write it is the point which you have remember in short how let us see this is the bold hypothesis when electron transit from high energy level to low energy level it emit the radiation that radiation is in the terms of photon and that photon having energy equal to the energy difference between two levels energy difference means high energy level minus low energy level so here high energy level er ei minus ef is equal to clear use the equation of energy put here so it will be like this one more thing you have to remember why remember because it is there in 11th chapter so what was it it is nothing but frequency is equal to c by lambda got it that 1 upon lambda equation is not there in our textbook but what is r it is there and how it comes because of that we have obtained 1 upon lambda and 1 upon lambda is equal to lie, ba, pa, break, fast lemon, balmer, pastan, bracket, puffin series so this equation is very very similar to that equations how we have to use that equation how you have to draw the line spectra of hydrogen atom that we will see afterwards but before that see all the steps one by one let us take few seconds Okay. From where you have to start? You have to start from that uh, Bohr's third hypothesis. Put the value of energy and you will get 1 upon lambda IF. Now, what was remaining? Here, we took R. What is R? R is known as Rydberg's constant. And that Rydberg constant consists of all constant uh, physical quantities. That is m, mass of electron, that is 9.11 multiplied by 10 to minus 31. E raised to 4, that is charge on electron, you know 1.6 multiplied by 10 to minus 98. 8, epsilon 0. It is there on uh, in page uh, sorry chapter number one. H Q Planck constant and C. What is C? C is nothing but velocity of light in vacuum. When you will place all the values here, you will get 1.097 multiplied by 10 raised to 7 meter inverse. So this is the constant value which is known as Rydberg's constant and equations are there on page number 429 okay so after this you have to define this Rydberg constant so after this it is a reverse formula but you have to write about what is r okay and this equation is very very similar to that Balmer series. Okay? What was Balmer series? So, 
in this equation take what to take nf is equal to 2 that means low energy level n is equal to 2 and ni means high energy level n is equal to 3 so you will get a bipolar series that is 1 upon lambda is nothing but r 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon n square this value you have to take 3 so it is nothing but Balmer's equation or Balmer's formula for hydrogen atom ok uh, change that our previous assignments uh, maybe before 3 days ok so you will get the Balmer series uh, lemon, Balmer, pa, Paschen, Bracket and Pufan 5 equations of same type we have seen okay now we are going to discuss the line spectra of hydrogen atom let us see <coughs> graph of that line spectra is already there on the same page number that is the 429 how that uh, spectral lines or line spectrums are being presented let us see <coughs> So it is a little bit uh, revision of that previous video also. Here we have seen what we have seen. It is the ground state means n is equal to one. Here let us take n is equal to two. Then n is equal to Four n is equal to five. Got it? Uh, at this, uh, the energy is minus thirteen point six electron volt. Then after, what was there? Minus three point. 40 electron volt then after minus 1.51 electron volt minus how much 0 0.85 minus 0 0.85 electron volt and so on got it okay let us see Balmer series first what was that Balmer's equation? That is 1 upon lambda is equal to r 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon n square where n value starting from 3, 4, 5 and so on. What does it mean? You say that means low energy level n value 3 4 5 means electron are transmitting from higher to lower lower means at which level 2 so n is equal to 2 is here means electrons which are present in third orbit they transit to the second higher to lower n is equal to 3 n is equal to 4 n is equal to 5 so you can see that electron are transiting from high energy level to low energy level which n is equal to 2 it is for a Balmer so it is for Balmer line spectra for hydrogen atom clear same way if there is a lemon then what was the lemon's equation 1 upon lambda is equal to r as it is that is 1 upon 1 square 
minus 1 upon n square where n value starting from 2, 3, 4 and so on means n is equal to 1 means up to ground state so electron may transit from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1 or it may transit from 3 also it may transit from 4 also electron may transit from n is equal to 5 to n is equal to 1 so this is about which lemon line spectra then lemon barman lie ba pa past tense in that past tense equation low energy level is 3 so all the electrons are transmitting from high energy level to third that means electron transit from n is equal to 4 to 3 or 5 to 3 so it is nothing but past tense line spectra okay by this way you can draw the line spectra from for a hydrogen atom okay uh, it is there on page number 429 see of this still very small definitions are there we will see afterwards first try to understand this and try to recall that uh, Lehman, Balmer, Bastian, Bracket and Pufferl series equation and what it equation shows that equation shows the transition of electron from high energy level to low energy level if there is a Lehman series Lehman line spectra so in Lehman low energy level was 1 so electron may transit from n is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 from this high energy level electron transit from low energy level that is n is equal to 1 for Balmer low energy level was 2 so on 2 means on second n is equal to 2 means in first excited state electron may come from 3, 4 and 5 and so on clear so have a look for a few seconds and then we will see very small definitions okay
The spectrum of bright lights is known as emission spectrum. And opposite to that, vice versa, there is one more definition and it is for your homework. It is the theme word absorption spectra. What is absorption spectra? Now, electrons are absorbing, electrons are taking energy to go from low energy level to high energy level. Means, while absorbing energy, electron transit from high, uh, sorry, low energy level to high energy level. Such type of spectra gives you, instead of bright, dark lines. And that is known as absorption spectra. In short, you have to uh, remember only one thing. For emission spectra, electron transit from high energy to low energy level. Energy emitted. And spectral lines are bright. And for absorption spectra, electron transit from low energy level to high energy level by absorbing energy and the spectral lines are dark okay so these two are the logical questions which can be asked as a one mark short question okay so this is end of your video number 48 end of two topics which obtain the reverse formula two marks second draw the line spectra of hydrogen atom and explain in detail. So you have to explain this graph by taking any two examples. There are two definitions of one mark each. There is emission spectra and absorption spectra.